Hey everybody, you're watching another episode of The Notatorium and this week I have Dinkar with me. Sup? I'm Tejas. Dinkar, what are we talking about this week? Uh, this week we are going to request DC to show some balls. Wow, heavy. Harsh, I know. Yes, why? I apologize for the language, but it's about time. So, uh, we're basically going to talk about why we feel that DC sort of sets up these amazing uh, storylines and heavy concepts and then just ditches them for like a plain old black and white good versus evil thing. This is true. Well, I think we've been noticing it in, the, in all of the films that have in come out so In all of the so films. So, in fact, hmm. let's actually just start with the most recent and the most celebrated, I think, out of the four that I've released, which is Wonder Woman. Yes. So, when Wonder Woman came out, I mean, obviously, it's it's uh, received universal acclaim and everybody likes it and obviously... Gal we enjoyed great. it as well. Yeah, we did enjoy it. But, uh, I mean, if we can safely say this without getting any, you know... Uh, you know, problems or whatever, you know, it, it's an average superhero film. It is not... I'd say it's a good, above average. I'd say, okay, fine. It's, I'm, I, when I say that, I mean, it's your average affair, you know, which yeah. happens at the, at the superhero films. You know, you, you have a good villain, you, uh, you have, a, you have a, 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 a good person as a hero, you have your, you know, plot that kind mm. of makes the hero realize that they are a hero, but then because they didn't believe in themselves. And then you have your third act, which is that crazy battle which happens at the end, which is kind of losing its value at the further we go along in these type of, type of films. Because we see it every time, right? Exactly. And that's sort of, that's become the Marvel formula. Yeah. And it disappoints me when DC follows through. So I thought Wonder Woman was a spectacular film until the last this third. Yeah, yeah. Because it builds up this really big, heavy question, which is, it's, it's in the grey. It's yeah. not uh, where uh, Wonder Woman is basically just, uh, she believes everything is happening because of... Uh, uh, Ares. Of Ares, right? Yeah. Uh, and towards the end, when she kills the guy who, who she, she thinks, who she believes is Ares, which is Ludendorff. Exactly. Yeah. She thinks uh, that's the end of the problem. She thinks that should solve everything, and it yeah. doesn't. And that's an amazing sort of uh, place to bring your hero to, where they realize that whatever they've believed thus far is wrong. Yeah, because and you're kind of shaking their worldview. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she has a very uh, innocent look at the world. She says, it, "This is it's literally black or white for her." Yeah. Uh, where you know, Ludendorff is bad, and if I kill the bad thing, good things will start to happen. And obviously, and it's that, happening during the World War, which is a terribly yeah. complex moment in history. And you know, it's it's literally not one stakeholder. You know, there's several. That's why it's called a world exactly. war. Exactly. And uh, the moment she kind of ends this guy and thinks that this is going to be the so, end. Yeah, this one guy is the solution to the entire world's problems. Yeah, and, and she kills who she believes is Ares. And then I think the moment should have sunk in where, you know, Chris Pine's character, uh, Steve, this Steve Trevor, should come to her and be like, you know what, but you thought, I was trying to tell you this. That the world this is, isn't that simple. Yeah, it's not that simple. People are, you know, they're all fighting for what they think is, what they believe is right. It's obviously not, you know, the case that, you know, one person can solve the entire problem. Yeah. And I thought that was a great way to maybe, you know, not end the film, but like that would have been a great rumination on like, you know, what, you know, the concept on of war. what are, war yeah. means, yeah. right? It would have been spectacular if... Wonder Woman at that point just like lost it, was completely disillusioned when she realized that maybe it's not one evil god, yeah. but humanity itself, which is pretty flawed. And yeah. so she goes underground and doesn't resurface until exactly. the events of BBS. And, and you know what even works to its favor is that the setup for her, uh, for Hippolyta, is her, who's her mother, she, Connie Nielsen, right? Mm -hmm. So she uh, plays that character who tells her, like literally listen yeah. to your mother, right? She says... Uh, you know, this is not, you don't understand what war is, you don't understand that you yeah. think you're going to go solve this. And she should have come back home to, you know, Themyscira, you know, her head hung in shame and just yeah. be like, you know, you and were right. And that, that would have been great. You it know? would have been a great way yeah. to uh, kind of deal with the complex subject you've brought up. Instead, yeah. they went with, oh, actually, this guy wasn't Ares, this guy was Ares. And you were right, that, it yeah. is Ares' fault, yeah. Yeah, so, it's all his fault. Let's yeah. kill him and suddenly we solve the world's problems. Yeah. Well, then how did World War II happen? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Exactly. I think, huh, Wonder Woman? So I, th <laughs> I think... I think that's 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 perfectly what we're trying to suggest that all these DC films, right? Have they these raise, great, yeah, yeah, great premises and reach a really they earn the dark, you know, uh, you know, theme that they've kind of assigned to all the films, which they've been saying, you know, we're darker we're than dark, Marvel, yeah. we're darker, our characters are darker, they're more complex, they're anti-heroes, if you will, and I think they they. This is true. It's not just the tonality, the film, the you know, the quality, mm -hmm. or the color of the film, or you know, the way it's textured and stuff. It is actually the the, it's plot. the themes. Yeah, yeah, the themes. Let's go back to even just the first film, which is Man of Steel. 
Man of Steel has this one moment where you know, it, it, I mean, it's it's a beautiful moment. At least I, I mean, I really love that uh, that that scene. It's where Jonathan Kent is stuck in this tornado, and this is where he you know eventually dies. But he doesn't want his son to be revealed to the world mm-hmm. as somebody who's super powered or who's an alien. And it's a crazy complicated scene where he's he he's basically about to die. And obviously Clark can save him, but he says, "Don't." But he says, do "Don't." It. Yeah, and it's so that's really that's dark. A, yeah, that's really dark, man. And you know what? Even the fact that we've always seen Superman as this, you know, literally as the morally good, yeah, you know, character where you know his parents have always been like, "You need to serve mankind. You need to serve humanity." In this early in the movie, he says, uh, "Should I have left that boy to die in the bus?" And his dad's like, "I don't know. Maybe. Maybe." <laughs> Which and that's great. What? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I love that, and I think that was what its strength was. I mean, we all want to see Superman finally elevate to the position of being somebody like Captain America, or mm-hmm. what Superman is being heralded for, like being this character who champions the good and the morally yeah. you know, the righteous. So, I think that journey could have been done better. So, showing that he went through all this conflict to get there yeah. was what they were going for. But in the end, they were just like, and then he became good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they just have the same crazy earth-shattering yeah. battle. Which just kind of it just loses it again. It was. If we move on. the thing. To, I feel yeah. like that's DC trying to end it with a Marvel third act, even though the first two acts have been very DC dark, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like they build up an amazing story and then they go like, "All right, now time for a CGI spectacle." You know, similarly in Batman vs Superman, we have this great, you know, ethical problem between the way. Uh, Batman conducts his, you know, uh, you know, vigilantism and you know his, yeah. you know, effort on on whatever achieving achieving for justice for for people and stuff. And Superman's way, which is uh, also kind of a contrast to that. So I think that was that could have been the moral dilemma of that film. But then there was also Doomsday. And they just Luther. bring in Doomsday as like, okay, wow. wait, stop all the fighting. There's a third guy that yeah, you have to deal that, with. Now. I mean, we all kind of knew that, obviously, because of the trailers and stuff like that. And then yeah. Wonder Woman is also so it feels so. I mean, that was an inflated film. Suicide Squad. Man, don't even get me started on <laughs> Suicide Squad. But there would have been a really good story in the whole, you know, here are bad people fighting worse Instead, people. Instead, they were yeah. pretty much just good people who were in jail. Yeah, it was like, Will, who made Will Smith a bad guy? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so we won't even get into Suicide Squad. Yeah. But do you think now, and let's end the episode like that, um, do you think now with, you know, the, the tonal change that DC has kind of been doing since, uh, you know, the backlash of BVS, mm-hmm. do you think that, like, you know, Wonder Woman's costume has color again? You know, yeah. it's like red and blue now. Yeah. And uh, even the Justice League, whatever first looks we've seen and the featurettes mm-hmm. and the trailer, we've seen that, you know, there's a... There's a, a hopeful vibe to it, it's like, yeah. which is fine because DC is full of heroes and that hopeful vibe should be there. Mm-hmm. But do you think they're gonna now maybe do a complete shift to... I think to they might and that is honestly preferable though in my heart of hearts, yeah. I would love it if DC showed some balls, <laughs> raise these questions and then follow through. Don't try and replicate the Marvel formula yeah, because, like, yeah. believe it or not, Marvel already exists. Yeah. And, and they've I been doing this for a while. They've done it for a while? Like, <laughs> yeah. So go the <laughs> other way. <laughs> Show some balls. Don't try and copy Marvel. Do your own thing because yeah. you're amazing, yeah, they, they have so much. They have so much. They it's have so the much potential depth. Is there. It's yeah. almost, it's like Wonder Woman has it like three quarters of the way and then it just fails. And, and then, then it just like, kind dude. of falls apart. Yeah. So, I would have been a perfectly good movie. I mean, it's not like the Marvel films are like amazingly like mind-blowing that every movie is teaching me something I didn't know about myself yeah like Logan did <laughs> Logan you're fine but uh, but you know like uh, but every movie is like a, it's just like a good unique chapter maybe Logan know, is a good template right Logan, Logan is, is a movie yeah. which raises some heavy questions and then uh, shows some question. balls it does a lot <laughs> many more than two sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, all right, so that's our episode. Tell us what you think about the DC films that have been coming out of late. Did you like Wonder Woman? Do you think what they did with the ending was right? I don't know if we agree with that, but uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share this video with all your DC loving friends. Bye, you nerds. <laughs> <laughs>